Ashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu lishalom, Fahamideinu malkeinu lechaim. Ashki venu Adonai, Eloheinu lishalom, Fahamideinu malkeinu lechaim. This is a prayer that we recite every night, and I think about it now as we approach Shabbat. This is a prayer for protection. We pray to be guarded from all harm, from disease, from strife, from famine. Clearly the words resonate now more than ever. Chavirin, we are living through unprecedented times. It's a time of uncertainty and anxiety. With each news report, with each post that we read, the fear only seems to heighten. Tonight, Hashkivenu, we will lie down. And for some, it may feel like a dream, actually a bit of a nightmare. But Hamidenu Lechaim, we will awaken once again unto life. We'll awaken unto life first and foremost by putting into practice measures related to hygiene and social distancing that we've all been hearing about. We'll return unto life by being a support for family and friends and community, by reaching out and helping out, by holding each other and holding our nation in prayer. And we will awaken unto life by turning to Torah Chaim, our Torah of life, to our teachings, to our tefillot, our prayers that ground us, that center us, that teach us to choose life, to cherish life, and to celebrate life. Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu Vishalom, Fahamideinu Malkeinu Lechaim. Shabbat is approaching, Baruch Hashem, and none too soon. We need this day just to breathe, to reset, to reflect on where we've come from and where we're heading. Life in the coming weeks will undoubtedly feel different. We may not be able to congregate in large gatherings as we're used to. For this temporary period, we'll find new ways to be with each other, to support each other, to care for each other, and ha'amidenu lechaim, to lift each other up unto life. In the weeks ahead, we'll need your understanding, your patience, and your open, loving heart so let's use this Shabbat as a time to raise our spirit, to strengthen our resolve, and to calm our soul. Gather as a family, sing Shabbat songs, learn Torah, daven, eat an extra helping of dessert. Bless your children and reach out to your family. We say in our Torah reading this coming week, Uvayom Ashvi Shavat Vainafa Shavat Vainafa Shavat Vainafa That means that on Shabbat we receive an extra soul. Shabbat is a time of delight. It's a time of beauty and of joy and of peace. It's a time of renewal. Shabbat is a time to wish each other a real good Shabbos. A Shabbat of wholeness, of healing and of peace. And so we pray, help us God to lie down in peace and awaken us again unto life. Spread over us your shelter of peace. Guide us with good counsel. Save us with mercy. Shield us from enemies, from pestilence, from starvation, sword, and sorrow. Remove evil forces that surround us. Shelter us in the shadow of your wings, O God, who watches over us and delivers us, our gracious and merciful ruler. Guard our coming and our going. Grant us life and peace now and always. Spread over us the shelter of your peace. Baruch HaTad and I praised are you, God, who spreads the shelter of peace over us, over all your people Israel, and over Jerusalem. Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, v'hamideinu malkeinu l'chaim. Ashkivenu Adonai, Eloheinu l'shalom, 
Tahamidenu makenu v'chayim. Amen. Shabbat Shalom.